Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my mini game score system. Um, currently, uh, this one I'm going to be showing you how to build works by when an animal falls into the pit of lava, a point is added to the point tracker. Um, you don't have to, I suppose, you know, do this with a animal or something falling into a goal, but if you're not, then you don't need to connect this box over here, you can make whatever goal you have for it and just, you know, set the input to connect to this part here. Uh, so basically, this thing will count up, uh, there's two points on the scoreboard, and uh, I have to wait for the pig to die. Once all three points are made, the scoreboard should automatically reset. Wait, what is it? Hold on. Okay, okay, so you gotta wait for the pressure plate to come up. So anyway, once all three points are up, the thing should automatically reset itself. Now this is much simpler to do than it looks. This is not that complicated. People with minimal idea of how to use redstone could build this. It's not really that hard. But uh, anyway, what you will need is some sort of building material, a bucket of lava, or multiple buckets of lava anyway, something to fill your goal, uh, stone pressure plates, redstone, uh, redstone repeaters, redstone torches, sand, pistons, and, well, I have the spawner egg so I can spawn a pig in the thing. But anyway, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start with building your goal frame. It doesn't need to be that big. I'm just going to build it this big for this tutorial. Um, yeah, hold on a second. Okay, so you build your frame. I'm going to build it one up because the pig has to fall slightly. Build your goal. Then you're going to want to break out the floor. You're gonna need to dig a uh, three block stone. That sounds right. going along a front row or something if this trail gets too long so say if the pig hits here it won't power here or something but if it's only going to be this big it will work just fine so anyway now we need to build our way for the redstone to get out of the hole so we just connect it up there for now now we're going to want to fill in one layer of stone over the redstone That. Now we're going to want to place your pressure plates down over that. Now you're going to want to place your lava just sitting on top of the uh, stone pressure plates. Okay, so now basically what we have here is when the pig falls in the goal, well, he didn't fall far enough, hold on. When the pig falls in the goal, it will turn on our redstone trail here. So now we're going to connect it to the scoreboard. <coughs> Just make one of the place a redstone torch on the side of it. Um, I want to place a redstone repeater here. Set it to two ticks. Now, <coughs> drag, take the redstone, drag it out in front of there, and there is our output. Now what this does is basically um, see if we power this for a second. Uh, here we do this. Uh, that output will only turn off for just a small second. So now what we do is um, we'll put a block here. We'll place a redstone torch on top of it. Now um, you can set the scoreboard to have as many points on it as you want, but I'm only going to do three for this video. So just do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then you're going to want to string redstone across the top of that. Now. You're going to take your pistons, place one there, one there, and one there. Now, you're going to want to place sand on top of these. Oops. And then you're going to place stone in between those. And then 
you're going to have another stone block there. Place a redstone torch here. Place repeaters here, here, and here. Set these all to uh, maximum delay. So three ticks. Now you're going to make the output on this. Just place blocks right in those spots. And just place repeaters there. I don't know if it has to be repeaters, but that's how I've always done it. Um, build uh, these going out like this. Okay, so now just string these down to the bottom block here. Place redstone torches on the front of this so you'll, you can invert the signal. And now for this last one, if you want to automatically reset like mine did, just drag your redstone trail down here and then start building it that way. Um, to give it a little bit of time and before it resets like mine did, um, I usually place three redstone repeaters going across like this. And then, let's see here, you're going to connect it to this torch here. How we're going to do that is we're going to do that there so it doesn't connect. Um, we're going to just connect it like that. And now, all you gotta do is, uh, these are your point output spots. Basically, this here where the stone is, this is where your scoreboard is. And, uh, yeah, that's all you should need to do. Um, note the pig does need to drop a certain distance for him to go all the way through and, uh, reach the point, uh, reach the pressure plates at the bottom. But it's pretty easy to do. Also, you can rig a reset switch to this just by, let's see, you take like a simple button or something. All you gotta do is connect it to this, something just to convert the torch, and it will reset all of the points. But uh, yeah, that's all. Bye. Oops.